Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to Sydney, Australia. We travelled three hours inland from Sydney to stay overnight at one of Australia's most haunted hotels. Janolan Cave's house is just a short walk from the oldest cave system in the world, which is also said to be very haunted. <laughs> Join us as we discover whether or not this unique location is hauntingly beautiful or just haunted. So we finally made it to our hotel room after a little bit of a hiccup. I might have fallen out of a porta potty. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you fell out of the toilet. Did you see me fall out of the I bathroom? Didn't, I didn't get on camera. What happened? <laughs> I opened the door and it was super springy. So like, I stepped out of the bathroom, the door just sprung back and hit Aww. me in the knee super bad. Are you okay? I'm gonna need a new knee. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, wait, there's... did you trip on something or why did you fall out? No, the door hit me. I opened the door and it was like super springy, so I popped oh, the door open and it was okay. like, Psh! and I was like, Meh! <laughs> now I'm gonna drink my coffee and swallow my pride. <laughs> the guy in the car behind us. He saw you and then he just tried to not make eye contact. Yeah, I like fell out of the, <laughs> the port loo and I looked up at him and he was just like, he <laughs> pretended like not that he like didn't see me just fall out of a port loo. <laughs> That's nice of him. That happened. <laughs> and the reason we picked this hotel is that it is allegedly one of Australia's most haunted hotels. And a very interesting haunting happened here. When a hotel guest was in her room at night, she saw a ghostly arm come through the door to her room and the sleeve to the arm had a lacy cuff. Like an old timey dress or something? Yeah. Weird. Did the arm just like flop around or something? No, it just drifted through. I shall demonstrate. No. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This okay. is good. It's terrible. Okay. What's <laughs> the towel over your head? I'm a ghost. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. During dinner, a staff member told us some stories about a woman named Barbara Chisholm who haunts the hotel. She started working here during 1930 and soon became the head housekeeper. She ran things here up until 1958 when she passed away in room 123. She was extremely particular about how things were done. So nowadays, if table settings, curtains or doors are moved, the staff always say, oh well, it's just Miss Chisholm. After dinner, we were still a bit spooked by the ghost stories when something unexpected happened in our room. That was crazy. I guess, but that door just like slammed on its own. Are you recording? <laughs> the night vision? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the night vision is recording? Yeah. That was being out of shot, but that's crazy, right? Mmm, a lot of coffee edge That was really weird. Ooh. Cool. I, I think it might be the wind. I think it might have been the wind. The wind There's no wind in here. What's that? There is no wind in here. I didn't feel anything. I didn't. It definitely just went like on its own. But I mean, the windows are open here and the windows are open in the bathroom, so something could happen with the wind, but that is crazy. Oh Separately. Why are they connected? <laughs> <laughs> Be really careful. 
I don't know. Yeah, right? a job. Why are they Maybe someone was closing it at the same time as you. <laughs> what is oh, happening? Yeah. Okay, so the windows moving together were probably an old hotel quirk, but the door slamming, even with the windows open, definitely gave us a fright. When the door slammed, it was mostly out of shot, but if you look closely, you can see it move in the glass and the top right corner. another edition of night door time and I am super tired so it's gonna be a pretty weird it's gonna be a pretty weird and rambly one and there's already some weird noises going on so good luck everyone oh my that's a little terrifying. Room 20. These axes are very weird. I don't love that. So the rumor is Barbara Chisholm haunts the entire hotel but also especially on room 123. There was actually a staff member who was very skeptical and the staff member volunteered to sleep in there. And the staff member woke up in the morning with fork marks on her arms. Like someone had to run a fork up and down her arms. Interesting. So yeah, so that's the legend behind room 123. Gotta say, I feel a little spooked out standing here right now. Yeah, these rooms are not marked. So, I'm going to leave those be and leave Miss Chisholm be. Goodbye. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, Jesus. This just scared the poop out of me. My God. It was terrifying. These do look like they're having a grand old time. <laughs> just enjoying the lounge, I see. This lady is interesting. the cave or something like that. So the dining room has some spookiness to it. The legend is from the staff member we talked to earlier today is apparently two of the chefs got into a fight and one of the chefs murdered the other chef. What the f what was that noise? Whew, this place gives me the willies a little bit. Um, guys, I just got crazy goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that. It got really cold in here all of a sudden, and I have full-blown goosebumps on my arm right now. That's... That's really interesting. Um... Yeah, I'm most suddenly freezing, and it's hot here and humid up in the mountains. And I, I have, I don't know if you can see this, but I have full goosebumps right now. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but it's very much a goosebumpage.
and then they fought in the pool room, and then they brought it back up into the dining room, and one of the chefs stabbed the other chef, and he passed away right here. Phew, I feel weird. I don't know why I'm so cold all of a sudden. Which leads me to believe I probably shouldn't see if this door is open, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, doors are locked. Thank goodness. I did not want to walk in there. I'm not going to lie, guys. Whew. Okay. I still have goosebumps. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if you can see it on my other arm. It's both arms right now. I have full goosebumps on both arms. I'm freezing all of a sudden. of my hand living on our window on the inside. Well done, Australia. Well done. Ooh, what is it? Denny refused to brush his teeth in the presence of the giant bug. But well, what if it climbed in my mouth? And then we went to bed and this happened. Nothing else unusual happened while we slept. No ghostly arms? Nope, no ghostly arms. What about these arms? Stop, no, stop it. Let's move on to breakfast and a nature walk before entering the haunted caves. I built a rocket in my basement. I'm gonna fly it to the moon. This supersonic is amazing. You're gonna feel my sonic boom. I'm flying high. He's so beautiful. Look at me now. Look, look at me. We brought the funk into this function. Yeah. We show up just into the nice. Okay. Now I've never need an introduction. No matter what we're feeling fine. I'm flying high and I'm never coming down. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look, look at me now. 
After our fun day of exploration, we excitedly waited in the lounge for our tour guide. The caves are said to be haunted by a past superintendent named James Wibbard. A longtime tour guide, Jeff Melbourne, said that while guiding a tour, he was looking over the railing at the crystal clear water when he noticed something on the bottom. It's a button, said a man standing next to him in a crumpled grey suit. It's a button off an old tunic. There's another one over there. But strangely, when Jeff looked up, the man standing next to him had disappeared. The following week, someone in Jeff's tour claimed he was glad to get out of that part of the cave. When Jeff asked why, he said, I saw someone in the shadows sitting on a rock watching us. What did he look like? asked Jeff. He was an old man in a grey suit, came the reply. When James Wibbard passed away in 1942, his ashes were spread within the caves because he loved them so much. It's not hard to see why. Oh God! <laughs> Up to there. Where? Oh, I missed him. <laughs> and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Find our scale.